Oops. Hey everybody, I want to show you how to set up your own live binder. So once you've signed in and you have an account, um, you're going to see a screen that looks like here. I have a couple of live binders that I'm experimenting with. Um, so to start a new one, all you go to here is to that left hand bar, it says start a, a blank binder. So you click on that and you're going to give, you're going to need to name your binder. So um, ELL and literacy. This is one I've been wanting to. Uh, this binder. Well, I didn't spell that right. Binder will have information about working with ELL students and literacy. Um, I want to make this private just because I don't want everyone to see it, or you might want everyone to see it. That's your choice. But if I make it private, I'm just going to put a password in here and create a new binder. So now that I'm here, um, you can see they automatically give you three tabs. So you're going to want to name those tabs. Those are kind of your general categories. So maybe my first tab is, I'm going to delete, say, tab one, and I'm going to say um, comprehension strategies, or just comprehension. Tab two, I'm going to call fluency. And tab three, I'm going to call vocabulary. Now, if I want to add, do you see this little arrow? If I want to add a new tab, I just click down. I can do one of two ways. I can click this down and I get a lot of choices. If I say, ah, you know what? I don't really like this. I don't want to do vocabulary. I'm going to delete that tab. It's going to say, oh, okay, you want to delete it? It's deleted. And then maybe later I'm like, ah, oh, man, I really want a vocabulary. Do you see right up here? I can go to that tab and say vocab. Oops, got to click in it. Backspace vocabulary. So once you get so up here, this toolbar really helps you. Here's um, it says tab, sub tabs, copy and move them, add content, etc. Binder settings. So let's say comprehension, and now I'm ready to add some sub tabs. And my first sub tab I'm going to maybe do is. Uh, Oh goodness, um, K2. And now another sub, sub tab, let's say three to five. Oops, gotta click on there. Three to five. And then maybe another sub, sub tab, middle grades. Whoops, sorry, keep, got it, middle grades. And another sub tab could be high school. So now what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm going to want to look for resources uh, that would correspond to each tab. So I'm going to click on K2 and let's say I found a really good K2 resource. Um, let's see. ELL Comprehension K2. So let's say, oh, I really like this. The first toolkit comprehension toolkit. I'm not even really looking too closely at this, but now I'm going to go back. To, I'm going to copy the link and I'm going to paste it right in there. And there we go. And now I, let's say I want another link. So it said add, I'm going to add more content or hold on a second. It says add other content. So maybe I would want to add more content there or maybe I want to, whoops, one sec. So here I go. So I want to kind of keep adding some more content right in here. And then I go to a new sub tab and I can add another one. So these are all going to kind of be your individual. They're going to look like K2. They're kind of like your individual pages. Think of it that way. To save your binder, make sure you save it. You're going to click. If you do something you don't want to, there's always an undo. There's also some binder settings here, um, but to save it, you're going to want to click it and boom, there it is saved. To share your binder, um, you can just email or I can get the link, which is what you're going to need to do. Paste it, copy it, and then paste it to us. So that's how easy live binders are.